Hi and welcome to Culture Moves. Today in this tutorial you will learn a bit more about the Culture Moves tools that have been developed within the project. Let's dig into this. Here on the Culture Moves website you can access the portal of Culture Moves. This is where you will find the three tools that have been developed. The Moves Collect Browser Plugin, the Moves Scrapbook and the Moves Annotator. The annotator is subject to a different tutorial. In this one we will focus on the Moves Collect and Moves Scrapbook. Let's get started. The Moves Scrapbook is a web-based tool for creating your digital scrapbooks. It can contain a mix of Europeana items with your own personal materials which you decide to upload to your scrapbook and you can create in this two way stunning stories for your social posts, blogs and websites. Here how it works. By following the link you get to the registration form. Here you need to pick your username. I will pick something else. Um, tutorial 1 and an email tutorial as well as a password. Make sure that you give here your correct email because in case you lose your password this is where we will reach out to you so that you can retrieve it. As a new user please do read the terms and conditions of the system. Now I will, because I know them, I will agree to them and I will create the account. Now that I have created my account, it's time to populate it. In the very beginning, the account is empty. I have some instructions of the first steps. So let's create my first scrapbook. For this, I have to pick a title. And an optional description. I have to select one of the two types of scrapbooks collection or story. What is the difference? A collection can contain any number of items. It can be something huge, it can contain over thousands of photos or videos, which will be displayed and ordered based on their creation date. There are different types of visualizations that are especially functional for collections, for instance a photo gallery. A story, on the other hand, contains only a limited number of items and these are put in context. You, as the curator of this story, can decide which items comes first, you can decide if there are connecting elements between those and thus create a very nice narrative. There are of course also some special types of visualizations that only stories have as opposed to, to the ones that the, that the collection has. For now let's create a collection. I click save and my first scrapbook has been created. Hooray! Now that I have created the scrapbook it is empty. It's time to put some content inside. There are two ways to do this. The first one is to upload or to write something. So let's do this. I'm going to upload a couple of pictures. I will open my file browser. This might look a bit different on your own PC because this is a Linux. It looks a bit like this. I can select one or multiple images for instance, drag them and drop them here in order to upload them. I will not select a title for them but simply say save. You will notice that you can also upload posts, bookmarks or call to actions. Now that the items have been uploaded, they are being uh, transcoded and some additional metadata is being extracted from them. This happens automatically so you don't have to worry about this. Once this is done, the thumbnails of your content that you have just uploaded is being displayed and you can see the contents of your collection. 
Now let's customize this collection a little bit more. Now I can see which style this collection has, how this is visualized. There are several standard styles which are predefined and I can select one of those. Let's say that I want to have a photo gallery. I pick this one and I select save. Now my collection is, can be seen as a photo gallery. If I'm happy with this, I can decide to share it. So I can go to the share tab. I can share it privately only with people that will have access to this particular link here or I can publish it to the whole world on my account. Each user that is registered to uh, the Move Scrapbook has a public account. You can access this by going to the following link. Here I get, of course, the link to the to this collection. This is my account. It has the one collection which I just published. And I can open this and see the different items as a photo gallery. I will go back to my account, to my public one and back to the present. I think I'm not yet ready to have this published, so I'm going to simply revert this toggle bar here, and now the collection is unpublished. When I refresh here, there is nothing to see. Great! So I'm happy now that my scrapbook contains a number of items that I have uploaded. Now you will notice that a couple more menus have appeared on your uh, top row. There is one that says scrapbooks. This is where all your scrapbooks can be seen. It is also where you can create new ones. I will not do this now. By going to content we can see all of the content that is available in our account. All right, so now we would like to also use some content from Europana. Let's do that. For this, we can use the extension that was purposely built for this. We can go to the Chrome Web Store you can find this under chrome.google.com slash webstore and search for the extension. Let's just write culture moves. And here it is. We can click on the add to chrome button and add this extension. As you can see, the plugin can read and change data on portal.culturemoves.eu. That's it. All right, now that the extension has been installed, you can see the icon right over here, and you get the welcoming message that the plugin has been added to Chrome. Let's see what happens if we click on this. Because it's the first time that we use this, we need to set it up. This is what this message tells us. So let's click here to open the options of the extension. And it is here that the plugin tells us that we have to add here the scrapbook username and the API key for this. We can find this according to the instructions that you find here as well under the profile page in my scrapbook account. So let's go there. I'm back in my Move Scrapbook and I go here on the top right corner where I can navigate to the profile. It is here in the profile that I can actually change the picture, 
the title and the description for my account. Also here you get to see the API access information, the username tutorial1 and the API key. Simply copy paste this API key. Let's do this now. Copy and let's open again the options of the plugin. Insert here the username. Please be careful not to introduce any typos. Tutorial 1 and here is the API key and select save. Great! That's about it. Now let's check that everything is okay. If you want to do this you can go to the options of your browser, select more tools, go to extensions, here search for the culture moves extension moves collect here it is and select details once you select details you can see all the details of this extension as well as the options and yes as expected that's the username that I have and that's the API key great I'm happy Let's close this windows and open in a new window, let's say here, the Europana portal. On Europana you can access over 57 million cultural items. It can be artworks, artifacts, books, films, music, everything that you can imagine from the libraries and archives of European museums, galleries. You can either search for a particular keyword by entering something here, let's say dance, and further refine this using the different facets. Especially important is the can I use it facet, where you can select items which are free to reuse. Or by going back, you can select and explore what is on Europana using one of the thematic collections. For instance, let's see what are the free to use images. All right. I think this particular image here would fit nicely into my collection. Can I use it? Yes, I can. So let's make use now of our new Moves Collect extension in order to easily bring this into our scrapbook. We do this by simply going to the icon of the extension and clicking once on it. That's it, the item has been saved. We have a link to directly see this into our Move Scrapbook, so let's go there right now. Oh, here it is. This was added just a few seconds ago. At the moment the thumbnail image is still being prepared, but actually I know that this is not an image which I want to keep. So. There are a couple of options here that I can see. One is to see the item in more details, the other one is to delete it for instance. Let's do this. That's it. Now the item has been added to my trash. You can see a new icon here popping up into your account and that is your trash bin. Here you can find all the items which you have deleted. If you click there you can see those items and you can decide if you want to restore them and they appear back into your content here or if you want to delete them forever. Let's delete this one forever. Alright, so what kind of items would I like to have? 
Well, let's find something related. So going back here to the free to use, let's add a search term and let's say that. Oh yes, that's more like it. Oh, even better. This image seems to fit our collection. Oh yes, dancing garden and a musician painting by an Indian painter. All right, let's save this into our scrapbook. Just clicking on the icon of the extension and I get the message that this has been saved. All right, let's go back to our scrapbook account and refresh the page. We can see here the new item which has been imported from Europeana. All right, let's add this to our collection, my first scrapbook. That's as easy as going here to the Add to Scrapbook button and selecting my first scrapbook. That's it, the item has been added there. Now if I go to Scrapbooks and visualize all the available scrapbooks, I have my first scrapbook here and I can see that I have inside here the, the item from Europana. I choose now to customize it and to share this publicly and publish it on my account. That's it. Let's see it in action. Yeah, this is pretty nice. All right, let's close now this window. We're back in my scrapbook here. And let's go back to our content. There are many more options to explore. Now that I have already some content in my account, the search functionality can become useful. I can edit an existing item which I have uploaded by going to the edit button here. I can add an additional title, descriptions or even tags and keywords. I can even say a language, I can geotag and see this on a map. I'm not going to do any of this now, but rather I will show you how to use the search. This you can find on the top left corner. It opens up and it shows you a number of facets which has been extracted from the content available. I can now use this in order to, for instance, filter only the content which has an English language. And that is the item from Europana. Notice that opening the more options, I can see the item in more details. I can add it to the trash. We've done that already. I can open the picture to see it a bit bigger. I can create an embed of it. And of course, I can go to the source, back to the place in Europeana where I have found it. This is especially useful when you are reviewing content days, weeks, or even months after you have collected it from Europeana. There are many more things to explore in this application. For now, the tutorial gave you an introduction of what you can do. Go ahead and try to add more scrapbooks. Maybe create a story. Or maybe go to your existing scrapbooks, edit those, select the coverage, image or maybe you want to simply 
adjust the way that they have the look and feel. Pick a different style or create an embed of them which you can then add to an existing blog or website. Or if you wish you can also get an RSS resource from them. It's up to you to decide how to use the tool. Have fun!